working in a factory isn't isn't the most comfortable job at all. <laughs> These units would come down the line and we would have these power screwdrivers and have to drive the screws. I think that's why I don't have a very good looking hands is on account of the power screwdrivers because that, that was rough on your hands. I think the majority of the people in Lockport did work at Harrison. I was there for 22 years. Harrison's made just about all the necessary parts that a car needs. Lockport is a quintessential blue-collar town. Most of the Northeast is full of blue-collar towns like Lockport. And when manufacturing took a hit in this country, Lockport took a hit. We had the main plant built right down there in the heart of the city. And then General Motors moved out here in the 60s. At one point, this company employed 12,000 people. The payroll was somewhere around $46 million. So it pretty much built the city of Lockport. Good afternoon, Tim. How are you? Gordy Fletcher here. I'm doing very well. How are you? Every GM car had our heat exchangers in it. You could pop open a GM car and see a sticker on there that said Harrison Radiator. Every car had that on it. Not anymore. hitting a critical stage where we need to get new work in the plant. We have proven ourselves as an asset for General Motors. So as long as we can make them money, we'll be around. I think if it wasn't for General Motors, there probably wouldn't be a lot for it. I do think that the auto industry saved a lot of people's lives. I had to work there to keep what I had. I've always managed to take care of my family. It was hard working and then coming home and the meals and the everything else that goes with it. To tell you the truth, I really wanted to be a nurse, but I never got the opportunity. So I just had to take what I could get. have 
daydreams. You daydream of this and that, but those things don't always work out, so you make the best of it.